Lake Floria. Just that little change. Oh, we're being swept in. Ooh, eels. Anyway, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Demogen. Tries to be less salty at the controls of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We've just entered a new area. And there are seahorse? Je Jellyf. Ack. Another human. Okay, okay, I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. No, come back. No, come back. They don't look hostile. The eels might be. No? Quit following me, pest. If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellence the water dragon about your little incursion. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're going to be able to follow me now. So what now? Are you going to cry? I think you can make it through. Just go ahead and try. Very rhymey. Uh, and can we not? Yeah, now what? Yeah! How is that even possible? Never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait. That's a water dragon scale. Does that make you the emissary of the goddess like the water dragon said? Ah, I've got an idea. Maybe you can help her, Excellence. What's wrong? Yeah, about that. It happened really recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went right after her, Excellence. A lady of the water dragon is a fierce fighter, and boy, did she gobble up most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there were just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all these creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says we don't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So, could you please go talk with her, Excellence, and see if you can help her out? I'll even tell you to her. Follow me. I can do this, yes. Watch out, spiky things. Bloop, 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 bloop. Now ah, that's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here. And the path is blocked with a huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? Uh, that is an excellent question. I mean, that worked. I assume this is your friend. Oh, that uh, uses up air, doesn't it? And that creates a way forwards. Uh, okay. Oh, now that's using your noodle. <laughs> Excellence is just up ahead. Over this way. Using your noodle. There's a phrase that needs to be used more. Come on, come on, hurry up. Huh? You can't get through. Shh, you humans and your bones. Talk about inconvenience. I guess you can leap over the top of this wall if you have to. Uh. Yeah, about that. How? 
Oh, can I get a... Do I have to get a, a, a run-up or... Uh, where is it? There. Ha-ha! That's kind of awkward. Wow, perfect jump. I call you amazing, but I think we both know it was the Water Dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. Indeed. Indeed. There we go. I spy a treasure chest. Oh, and... Damn it. It takes a second to pull the sword. That didn't even help. <laughs> I see a cube. What's in the box? A goddess bloom. Lovely. Let's quickly save the game. Hello, friends. And welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I've been done a couple of things since the previous episode. I, I went to farming. I went and farmed up a load of monster claws and those um, thingy skulls. What are they called? Monster skulls, probably. Ornamental skulls. Um, and some horns and some bird feathers, and I upgraded my shield. And then I discovered that you can upgrade it again. So I went and uh, farmed some more things <laughs> to do that. But now, I have a fully upgraded... That's not going to work. Uh, I have a fully upgraded shield... Of the, the kind of uh, goddess slash divine variety. What's it actually called? Goddess shield, yes. So it was the sacred shield, then it became the divine shield, and now it is the goddess shield. Uh, where am I going? I'm going down here. We're off to see the water dragon. The wonderful water dragon of Oz. Uh, or something. I'm really surprised these eel things aren't trying to eat us. But I suppose that really wouldn't make sense. Uh, we're going to have to jump this one. Which is a surprisingly awkward mechanic, if I'm honest. Uh. Yikes! Oh, they're back. That's one of the fish that weirdo brought in here and used to attack her excellence. Watch out, they're mean as they come. A mean fish. Uh, one assumes I'm now going to... It's got a big X on its head. Which can be used. Wow! I got a short nose how to pick him. He did great! It's true. I did indeed do great so you've just got to spin into them which isn't hugely surprising since it's the only combat option we have underwater uh at last we're here i think i know what i've got to do with this her excellence the water dragon is just up ahead hang on just a second oh uh, um, that doesn't look like it would work. <laughs> they must have incredibly sturdy heads. Please, come in. This is not what I was expecting. In we go to a loading screen.
All right, what is the uh, water dragon going to look like? Is it going to be really bizarre looking? Thought I saw something down there. I did not. Uh, oh! You're small! Ah, you there, human! You have intruded into my home, a sacred place for you are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as you, and yet here you stand. You will explain how you got here, and quickly. I am! Those with manners address me as Farron, Warden of the Woods. I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current statue is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say, know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Huh? I say, that's one of my scales you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be counted by the goddess's chosen hero, but could you really be him? This raises questions! Even with that scale in your possession, finding my halls is no easy task. How did you find me? Ah, yes. That cackling old hermit Kikwi told you where I lived, didn't he? Honestly, I can't remember how many times I've told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last uh, That's the last straw. Next time I see him, his dinner. Oh, well, I digress. You've come here seeking a sacred flame, haven't you? I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test is in order to prove you everything you say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature. <laughs> I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in the encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I've been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Unfortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished. I am now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Give me the favor, and I'll glad you show, gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What say you? You got it. I am analyzing the water remaining in this basin. Excellent. I can now help you dive for the water type you are searching for. Wonderful. We're searching for water. Master, you do not have a container suitable for transporting water. Please prepare a vessel for this purpose. If you continue down the way, you'll find an exit back to the woods. Now run along. One does not keep a dragon waiting. Okay. So we are essentially... Helping some guy fill up his bubble bath. No. Not liking this uh, swim mechanic much. There we go. It's a little bit faffy. To say the least. I spy a treasure chest. What's in the box? You got an evil crystal. Needed one of those. I think that's the first one of those we've got. In fact, it is definitely the first one of those we've got. Otherwise, we wouldn't get the message. Apparently, in the original version of the game, the that, that message pops up every time you find something after logging in. Uh, interesting. Hello? Ah, I think he's stone. Boing, boing. They say drawing a symbol of love upon certain walls will heal your wounds. I haven't actually seen any of the, uh, the goddess walls yet. Oh. Ah! This is the one right back at the start of the level that I've been looking for a way to pull down for ages. Master, I have information to report by the southwest. Pick up the location with your map. Yes. Yes. Thanks. 
right? I didn't really. Okay. Um. So is this the sacred water? And I can douse for it, which is kind of the point of dowsing. Why do I just take damage? Don't know. The rupee down there. Several rupees down there. All I want to do is grab that. Right. Uh, oh, there's something shining behind the waterfall, so that's a thing. Oh, just swim, Link. Thank you. Whoa. Frame rate's a little bit spoony there. Or... Hmm, maybe, maybe we can't get through here yet. No, just oh, jump out the water. Yeah, not a... Uh... No, can't get up there then. Um... Let's get back on land. And let's douse. Okay, so I think it paint, uh, paints, points to um, the correct zone, first of all. Right, where are we going now? We're we going into the temple. It looks like we're going into the temple. Hi, bye. Yep. Uh water place in here oh deep is part of the temple complex okay so enemies have nice work Dama. No, that's still going to get us. Because of course it is. Oh, there's a diggy place here. Was there always a diggy place here? Also, there's some butterflies. Hold it. You're that guy. That guy I met in the volcano. Aww. Here, to do some treasure hunting too. I called it. you got treasure hunter written all over your face. Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot too? Stone guy? <laughs> no one's picked me to all the sweet loot piled up in this place. Uh, I guess I sky would strike this. Oh. Uh, draw. Yep. Somebody said something about drawing rupees to make you rich. And that has most certainly helped. Uh... Yeah, I can just go through here, can't I? Ooh, 
Ooh. I bought the fish and the... Oh. Well, you you can't swim, clearly. Hey! Um... Ow. The door's locked. Mind you, we can swim now, so... So that's a thing. Um... that oh they're just nuts they're just nuts um hey rupee come here right uh so if we've got to get through all the doors again that's a little bit meh so I've already completed this dungeon once. I don't really want to have to. Just fantastic. I work like a weasel just to swipe a key from that monster and I have to go and lose it. Just can't remember which hole I hid it in. Eh, what do I need a key for anyway? I can buy the trunk full of those things and find the treasure I'm after. As you probably noticed for the last few episodes of this, I've not been speeding things up particularly. I've just been cutting them out. But this section of the game bored me to tears and is one of the reasons actually whilst that, that i haven't actually really been back to the game that i've only got probably two maybe three more episodes to edit before i run out of footage because the premise uh sorry the precedent set up here frustrated me Having to go back through the dungeon looking for just the one tiny place where a key was hidden really, really annoyed me. And it turns out it was one tiny place. I ended up having to Google it because I went round in a loop three times trying to find this singular key. There's no indicator on the map whatsoever. It's just round and round and round, looking for holes. Where are the holes? No, it's not there. Let's try the next one and so on and so forth. And I was getting really pissed off. So, yeah. 16 minutes of footage. This is sped up to 500%. Six, 16 minutes of me just going in a loop around and around and around and thinking, ah, that's it and then no it's not and, ah that's it and and then no it's not and it just makes me wonder could they not have made this section more interesting could we have not got a hint or something at all but no i ended up just having to google it because this guy doesn't give me squat in terms of hints he just says oh it's hidden so it turns out that the key is hidden right in the little watery alcove off the right hand side of the map a a tiny tiny little bit which in retrospect knowing where it is it's like oh yeah i didn't look at that bit did i but when you're actually there in the moment and you're playing the game and it's literally the the only place where it's hidden it's it's really really frustrating plus the cobwebs were really annoying as well you've probably noticed my frustration with the cobwebs but it's at this point that i really start getting salty and aggravated and bored and decide to look it up and it's it's just that square there just up and right from my my cursor the tiny little offshoot of the right hand room which I don't realise that I haven't been through. It's, oh, yeah, it, it just didn't feel, yeah, there we go. I figured it out. It just didn't feel good. Didn't feel good. Well, I mean, that is really well, well hidden. But it's, it's, it's a little bit 
off the beaten track, shall we say. Still, still. Oh, there's Hydra's in here as well now, is there? A friend? It's a bomb friend? That's not close enough. Oh, it is. Right. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought I was going to turn around and hit the bats, but they seem to have leashed back. Silly. Uh... Oh, more digging. Hopefully not the same thing, though. Oh, we've locked the door again. do here oh they can shoot the bug out the air was there another way over here where did this even go and oh, that just leads us back well they have legitimately made this place more annoying it's annoying because we're going back through it Sod off. Thing is, I, I quite like backtracking, but this is the wrong kind of backtracking. Sheesh, I dig some serious miles to get my paws and treasure, and I found squat. Talk about bad luck. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods. It's not near but water now. In the stinker world, we'll come all this way for water. Nobody that, see. Cut my losses and then home, see ya. Yeah. Right, we need to uh How do I actually use the... Like that. I assume it's... I'm sure it said it still did the auto thing. Oh, I wonder if there's going to be a, a, a boss here again. Is there going to be a new boss? Because that would be cool. Lighting's different. Oh, some Stalfos. Okay. Ow. Doesn't help that there's three of them. Ow. 
Ow. Uh, tell you what. Stalfos traditionally aren't fans of bombs. <laughs> he knocked his arms off. That was quite cool. The, the, well, the, the knocking the arms off was quite funny. Uh, what? Interesting that we gave us bombs in a pot. So I assume that's how it thought we were going to do it. Open Sesogen. I detect sacred water nearby. So it's here. You got some. Well, that's not what we wanted, is it? Although, to be fair. No. That's a fairy. There we go. We've got some sacred water. Pure water can heal the wounds of the water dragon. It has mystical properties that cannot be found in ordinary water. What do we want the ordinary water for? There's none of her words in the world with the bridge. Take it back to her. See, that's a teleport I can work with. Hello. Mmm. Yes, just look at that colour. There's no doubt this is the water I need. Quickly, boy, pour it into my basin. That was the wrong water lit. No. Uh oh. Oh, hi. Somebody's car alarm's going off. Hmm, exquisite. I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold the full majesty of Farron, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, he tall healed and whole. I stand tall, healed and whole once again. That's the wrong kind of dash. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now it was no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favour you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. It's behind the waterfall. There's going to be a trial, of course. Now, behold. You've got a tiny head. Ah, hmm. Bubbles? Where's all that water going to go now? Go, oh. the sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found a way in inside they flourish. But you are the ghost's chosen hero. Swatting a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. Farewell, boy. Okay, then. 
I guess. Oh, get back here. Damn it. I noticed that some of the bugs you actually have to... Uh... This must be an absolute shit show with motion controls. I bet it involves flicking the stick up and everything. It's like, nope. Down into the depths. I'm assuming this is going to be a full-on dungeon. That is my guess. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time... Cheerio.